this video, we are going to make an interactive ticket booth flavor box. The top of the booth is for putting yummy treats. We are able to pull out tickets from the booth. The tickets are easy to tear off. With a removable box inside, we could refill the tickets easily. Before we start, I have this piece in the design to position the box for the ticket. It didn't really do what I expected, therefore I had to ditch it. If you see this piece in the video, please ignore it. The download link is in the description. There are 3 SVG files for QuickCuts, 3 Studio 3 files for Cameo, and 1 PNG file for Print and Cut. Upload the Ticket Booth SVG file to Design Space. Here are all the elements. We are going to change cut lines to score lines. Select Click on the page, right click on group. All the score lines has been attached to its elements. Click on on item. You can see there are two layers being selected. Select the top one and go to the top. Change to score. Click the item again. Make sure both layers are selected. Go down to the bottom and attach. Same as the rest, change all the top layers to score, attach the score and the item together. Oh, this one hasn't been attached. Attach the top window, change the score, click again and click attach. This little piece here. Top layer, change to school, click again and attach. Now it's all done, click make it. The elements have been divided into three pages, but we are able to put them into two. I'm going to turn rotate this one and I will move it to page two. Move object, page Select page to page two and double check nothing they are not overlap each other. Go back to page one and move the items on page one to page three. One more object. Here we save one page and continue to select the material and set up your scoring tool. Here are all the cutouts. This is the top of the ticket box. Two pieces for the bottom of the ticket box. That's for the ticket bit. And these two panels are for inside of the box where we are going to put the tickets. We are not going to glue them together. The first thing we're going to do is fold all the pieces. We'll start with this piece and you can see all the score lines. The score line here, they are for position the decorations later. They are not the folding lines. The other folding lines where you can see because they are corners, so they are the folding lines. When we fold the folding lines, because the window frame is quite thin, just slowly fold it. Maybe you need a ruler to help you. Be careful not to bend the window frame. So I'm going to use a ruler to bend it forward first and then This way we could avoid bend the window frame.
is the top part of the ticket box. These two are the bottom of the ticket box. We are going to apply glue here and put the two pieces together like this. We'll fold them first. Those score line here, they are also for position the decorations later. We are not going to fold them. We will fold where the tabs corner is. We are going to fold this one and this one. All of these, they are for position the decoration. We are going to fold where the corner of the glue tabs point. We'll fold this, those glue tabs from here. We're going to fold this one, this one, and this one. And the glue tab point. Then I see it between the glue tabs. On the top of here, this score line here for it toward you for the side we fold it back fold them backward on the side fold them backward like this we'll glue two pieces together like this make sure this side point up the bottom of the ticket box is folded this side is the top of the ticket box where the where you can show tickets we don't need to fold this one. This is the inside box for the tickets. Fold along the score lines. The box is done too. We have all the ticket box. Pieces. We are going to cut out the decorations. Upload the decoration SVG to design space. Here are all the decorative panels. And there are no score lines, so we don't need to change the score line. The gray panels, they are for the window of the ticket book. So please set the material as estate sheets. And yellow panel for decorate button of the ticket boots. And some blue tech decorative panels. Oh good, just click make it to cut. Here are all the elements for the decorations. We color now and we are going to glue them on the ticket box. Start with the Esther sheets. They are for the they are the ticket box window. Two bigger panels and two smaller ones. One of the big one it has a semicircle on the top. So it will go this one here. Flip it over Glue the estate sheet on. When glue estate sheets on, be careful not to cover any of the folding line. That's why we fold the folding line. That's why we fold the score line first. This way, we'll be able to see where the score line is. Be careful not to get any glue on the estate sheets. Once glue get on extra sheets, it's hard to clean and the glue will be very visible. Double check the extra sheets not covering any score line. We'll be able to fold all the score lines without problem. Flip it over, give it a good press from this side. Don't let any glue get under ester sheets. The ester sheets down. We are going to put the decoration on. So we apply the decoration panels alternatively. For the front of the ticket box will be this one. So we can do that together at the same time. This is all the lost decoration. Also, the reason that's why we don't assemble the ticket box first. It's easier to apply the decoration on while it's flat. Later, if we put the box together, it will be helpful to glue those decorations on. 
Later this one will go on top here. I'm just gonna put decoration down first. Use those score lines to position The top panel here, uh, I got this ticket going on there. Going on top, I put the, I have phone dots at the back. Just gonna attach, um, we'll attach the ticket part here later. Get the bottom of the ticket box. We are going to go on the yellow decoration. Uh, we're going to go the dec yellow decoration sound. Uh. There are two lengths, one longer one are for the uh, for those two panels. Shorter ones are for the middle section here. There's a cut line here at the end of the button. And glue the panel on, don't cover the cut line. And glue this panel on, avoid the cut line. Double check we didn't cover. Nice phone dots and phone tap at the back of the panels. I'm going to go align the ticket spots here. Now all the decorations are on. We, we can glue everything together at the bottom of the ticket box. Flip the bo bottom, put apply glue here and here. Align properly here, same as the other side. For the top part, we'll apply glue here and here, and we'll also apply glue here on the side of the boss tab. So it will go like this, glue on like this, and same the other side, glue on like this. Give it a good press, align well, align here well, and same as the other side. Wipe the extra of the glue. The cut line here is for insert the glue tab here. Later on, we are going to insert the top part of the ticket box here. Here is the top of the ticket box. We'll glue those two ends together first. I'll glue to the bottom and stick them together. We could close the top first. Close the bottom. Give it a good press from the top. Put your hand in or use a ruler to press from inside. The open and be this part is the back. We'll be facing back. Glue the top on. Be careful not to get any glue on the estate. And apply glue not too close to the edge. We have the top and the bottom of the ticket box. We are going to insert the top bit here, go in like this. And the top of the bottom would align the bottom of the window here. We'll apply glue here, here, and here. Be very careful not 
to get the glue on any of the estate. Light properly on the side as well. Holding together firmly, push it in all the way. This side is not aligned. Make sure they align. Yeah, here. Yeah. It should look like this. Grab the box inside. Glue those two tabs first. Move the top two. Flip it over and give it a good press from the other side. It's easier to press it on a flat surface. So this piece of brown and there's a color on the top. Later on, we'll put the ticket inside. Close the box, insert the tap into the top. Next, we are going to upload tickets and tickets print PNG file into design space. So we'll upload the ticket first. And upload the tickets print dot PNG. That's the part we need to print. You can choose complex as well. I reckon moderately complex would do the job. Apply and continue. Choose pre land cut image. Select the boss and add to canvas. The ticket the way bigger than the actual card, so we're going to change it. We're going to the top to change the size. Make sure the lock is on so. Uh, when we change size, it will be changed proportionally. Change the width, we're going to change the width to 8.6389 inch. <laughs> Don't ask me why, <laughs> just, just how computer works, I guess. So here are the tickets and print and cut is on the top. Select both the ticket and the cut bit and then choose a line send we are going to center vertically but you can see the color line is not aligned properly we're gonna click and tap the arrow on your keyboard one at a time until where you are happy with where it is that looks good and we're going to the right hand side Top one, this is the print and cut, and the bottom one, we are going to ungroup it. Select them both and then right click, ungroup. This layer here, you can see it's the cut lines between tickets. We are going to move it to the top layer. So now the cut lines between the tickets are the top layers. Second layer is the print and cut. And the last one is the ticket. Select both, use the shift key to select the bottom two layers, the print and cut and the base layer, and go to the bottom, click flatten. So the ticket, that way we will print the ticket and then we'll cut the ticket shape together. And it's go onto the top now. We're gonna drag it down, go to right hand side panel, drag it down to the bottom. Now we can see the cut lines between the tickets again. Select both items. Click attach together. This way we are able to print first and then cut exactly where we want to cut. Each little size is able to fit in 7 tickets. So I'm going to duplicate, right click and duplicate. Right click, duplicate again. We have 4 now. Select 3 and duplicate. So 
so we have seven tickets. Then all of them will be able to fit in one sheet of letter size cardstock. Continue to click make it. Material size is letter size. Then all the go click continue. Then here it will ask you to send to printer. You just send to printer and print it. If this is the first time you use print and cut, go to the top here and choose calibration. And then choose the print length cut. It will guide you to link your printer with the quick cut. And if you don't have a printer, you can just use upload this file only. Don't worry about the print and cut. Just upload the SVG file and cut on a pattern cardstock. This is the printout of the ticket. And you can see there's a, the admit one. Make sure the admin one, when you put it in on the cutting mat, it's on the right hand side. So this way facing up, admit one on the right hand side. Put it on your cutting mat and send it to your Cricut. This is the cutout for the ticket. Here are the tickets. You can see between tickets, they are cut lines, so that's for easy to tear. It's all, and at the end of each ticket, there's a glue tab. You can glue as many as you like. My suggestion will be glue the three together and glue two tickets together. Avoid the cut marks. This way, it will be easy to tear off. Use a pen or something. I'll probably should avoid. First, roll the ticket around your fingers, put the ticket inside the box, and have the ticket come out, and then close the box, close the tab here, don't let the ticket go, otherwise if you let go, it's hard to close this tab, and insert the top tab as well, and you can let go. Now we have the ticket out and we are going to insert the box in. When you insert in, aim the ticket to the ticket hole there. Make sure you can see from this side. It's hard to show you. And if necessary, you put your finger in to adjust so the ticket can come out from the other side. Here you are. So you can see the ticket come out from the other side and push the box into the middle. Going to close the tab on this side and insert this tab here. Remember, there's a cut line here. We're going to insert the tab here. There you are. Now we are able to put the ticket out. And then we are able to put treat on the top. Thank you for watching, hope you like the project.